Hey, what's up YouTube? Brian Fajoli here. And yes, in front of me, in front of the screen here, it is the brand new game console by Nintendo, the Nintendo Switch. And I was kind of on the fence about this console because the launch library is a little bit weak. You know, a lot of people are big fans of Zelda. I'm not. It, the, those games are just too long for me. I like the original Legend of Zelda for um, NES. But, you know, I can't put 50, 60 hours into a game. And, you know, listen, I'm a grown guy. I have a, a life. So, you know, you know, I bought the console anyway because, you know, I knew it would be popular. I knew I would want one eventually, so I figured why not, and Bomberman R looks really cool. So that's the that's the launch title that I bought. I did not buy Zelda, I opted instead for Bomberman R, Super Bomberman R. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox the console now, and I also have the Pro Controller, which I'll unbox right after that. And we'll also unbox uh, Bomberman as well and see, you know, what it's like uh, inside the box. So let's look around the box first. So it's on the on the sides we just see some people using the switch. And on the back we see a really good representation of what the switch is. It's it's a tablet. It's a tablet computer with two controllers called Joy-Cons that snap onto the side. It makes it a portable console or you can remove those side Joy-Cons um, and and hold them in your hand as controllers with the Nintendo Switch serving as its own display. A uh, third mode which is really cool um, is probably how I'll play a lot of it. It'll probably 50-50. It'll probably be 50% portable and 50% hooked up to my television. So this has a, a unique USB-C dock that once you dock the tablet down on it, um, it turns into a home console as well. So for $300, you're kind of getting two consoles in one. You're getting a portable console and a home console. It's not as powerful as the PlayStation 4 the Xbox One, but keep in mind, folks, when it comes to games, there's one thing that is most important, and that's fun. So I've played some really beautiful video games that are terrible, and I've played some really fun games that don't look so great. And if I had to choose between the two, I'll go with the game that's actually fun. So I think Nintendo has a good balance here where it's, you know, the game as a home console, it can do 1080p, you know, it can't do 4K, it doesn't you know, play Blu-ray discs or anything. It's meant to just be a fun game console. That's the focus. Also on the side, we just see, you know, people holding it and such. Bo boring, boring. Let's get inside the box. Um, on the top, we do see the Nintendo logo, a big part of my childhood. The first game console I ever owned was the Atari 2600, which was given to me by a family member as a hand-me-down. The Nintendo NES, the home entertainment system, that was um, my first Nintendo console uh, that I got uh, in the 80s as a, as a child. Now I'm just a man-child, a grown man who is also a child. So let's see, on the side here, there's a little tab, and I have my knife already, so I could, you know, cut the tape, but there's no tape, which is a little worrying. Maybe that's typical. We'll go ahead and open the box. Uh, let's see what we have here. Okay. So, the top part of the box has the Joy-Con controllers and the tablet itself. Wait, I'm calling it a tablet. That's the, that's the whole console. That's the Switch. So let's look at what else is in the box first before we get to the really fun stuff. Okay, guys? All right. So, what's here? Okay. This little dongly thing here, the two Joy-Cons controller, uh, Joy-Con controllers plug into this. I'll show you how that works in a little bit. We have... Let's see. These also plug into the Joy-Con, so I'll show you that in a little bit. Let's look at what else is in the box here. So, we have... Health and safety guidelines. Okay. What else do we have here? What's this big thing? Oh, this is the, likely the dock. We'll look at that momentarily as well. I'll show, look at that last. Inside the box as well, we have an HDMI cable. It's actually a nice HDMI cable, and it's branded with Nintendo. 
So I'm sure you have a ton of HDMI cables laying around in your house, but it's kind of cool that this one is branded for Nintendo. Uh, this one says Nintendo on this side, and this side of the cable has the HDMI branding. Okay, so what else do we have here? <clears throat> Let's see. You also have a power brick. Right? And it's actually a nice size. It's not too big. We got the power brick here, which goes to USB-C. So this is a standard, you know, USB-C AC outlet. You could also charge your um, your Nintendo Switch using the MacBook Pro charger, which is also USB-C charger. So it's nice that Nintendo is using the standard. So you'll have no trouble finding battery packs and chargers and all kinds of things to keep the console going. Now that I've taken all that stuff out of the box, the box is empty. So what we're going to look at next is the really fun part. Put this stuff over here. What do we got here? We have the Switch tablet and the two Joy-Cons. So this is my first time actually handling a Switch. There was none, you know, that I saw in a store or anything. I didn't go to Target or Toys R Us or Best Buy or any of those places to try it out. I don't even know if they had it. So before I look at the Switch, let's look at the Joy-Con controllers. Ooh. The buttons are nice and clicky, and there's a little button here, which I believe is a screenshot button, like a dedicated screenshot button, which is pretty cool. And these snap into the side of the tablet of the Nintendo Switch. So this is the left side. And also, you can hold it like so, as a, as a controller. There is no D-pad to be found here. Okay. Next, we will look at the right Joy-Con. This has the uh, directional stick on the bottom. And like the other one, um, you can hold it like this as a controller. So two people can play the Switch at the same time even if you have it in like a propped up mode. And we'll, we'll get to that momentarily as well. So this isn't just an unboxing video, it's also my thoughts and me trying it for the first time. All right, so I now have the Switch in my hand. So let's see. It feels surprisingly light. It's, it's a little bit thick, right? If you own like an iPad or something, you're probably used to a thinner tablet. This feel, it, it feels a little thicker than a traditional tablet nowadays, but it's surprisingly light. Um, there is a fan inside from what I've read, and I can see a heat sink in there at the top as well as a vent. Uh, let's see what else we have on the top. We have a volume rocker, plus and minus. We have the power button, headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter, and the game card port. On the side, we can see where the Joy-Cons slip in. And I was kind of confused about that because the Joy-Cons, I, I, I wasn't sure if there was like a... Um, a hardware connect, like a hard, a hard wired connection when they're snapped in, and it looks like they're wireless even when they're snapped in. I don't see anything that would like connect it. There's no port there. So when you slide this in, I think it's still a wireless connection, which is kind of a strange choice. On the bottom we have USB C, and that's how you charge the device, uh, and also how you dock it, which I'll show momentarily. And on this side, we see the same thing where the Joy-Cons would plug in. So I'm going to plug this in. There's me. For the first time, I'm going to plug in the Joy-Cons. Ooh, okay. And the second Joy-Con. And when I'm playing video games now on this, this is how I would hold it. So, there's, like I said, there's no D-pad. There are directional buttons here. Um kind of as a makeshift D-pad, but, but really they're just, just buttons. Um, but you have these two uh, sticks, A and B, X and Y, minus and plus. I'm not exactly sure what the minus and plus does. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. So there's the, there's the, this is a portable console, like I said, but it's also a, a home console. Uh, I do want to show as well, there are um, left and uh, right buttons at the top, as well as a Z, what is it? Z L and Z right, so Z triggers on the top. Okay. So next, I'm just gonna put that to the side for a moment so we can look at the dock. 
So this dock is what you know converts the portable switch into a home switch, right? And I actually wonder, you know, could Nintendo one day make a switch that's only for a television set? Like maybe some people don't want a portable console and they can make a really small little box that plugs into a TV that plays Switch games. That would, that would be really neat. So here's the dock. It's very, very simple. Nintendo Switch on the front. You see here the switch would plug in. There's a USB-C port in there. Uh, not a port, rather, but a connection. So the port would snap in there. On the back, this part, I believe, sim, comes down. And you can see here there's an HDMI port. There's the AC adapter. So you can go ahead and charge it, like I said. As well as a USB 3.0 port. So... The USB 3.0 port doesn't really get used out of the box. Um, however, you can get a hardwired Ethernet adapter that connects via USB. So if you did want a hardwired internet connection uh, when docked, you can get a dongle. Um, also, uh, in the future, you may be able to expand storage by USB, but I don't think that's available from the get-go. So all of these things are going to snap in here, right? And then for cable management, they all come out this little port here. So it tries to make everything look nice and neat. So basically, when you're ready to play as a home console, you slide this in. And just like that, and now it's, it's docked USB-C mode. You would connect it to your television. Oh, and there's, there's USB ports back here as well. I didn't realize that. So there's two more USB ports. Um, you know, Nintendo always likes to sell accessories, so they probably have a lot of things planned in the future. I'm curious if you could plug in a USB keyboard, for instance, so when you're setting things up or having to enter text, could you, you know, use a USB keyboard? May not have that functionality now, but Nintendo could probably add that later. Okay, so that's the console unboxed itself. But I'm not done there because I also purchased, which I may end up returning, Oh, actually, no, I don't want to move on from that yet. I do want to show this off. So, let's see. To take off... Ooh, I accidentally powered on my Switch for the first time. To take off the controllers, the Joy-Cons, there's a little button here that you would slide these off. They just vibrated when I took it off. At least it felt like it did. Ooh. I just want to show how these snap in as well. So... One, and two. So now what I've done is I've taken those and made kind of a traditional controller out of it. Again, still no D-pad, so if you were to play like a fighting game or something, you might not like it. Um, but it does make it comfortable to hold. It's a little, it's a little amateurish, I would say, on Nintendo's part. I mean, it looks nice, but it's kind of cheesy. You know, it's not a wonderful controller as, say, a PS4 or Xbox One controller. You know, in the hand, it doesn't feel spectacular. And like I said, there's no, no D-pad. So let's say you're happy with the console like that. Maybe, you, you know, you're not so happy with the, um, the, the Joy-Cons connected together to make a controller that way. If that's you, you can purchase the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Now, I purchased this controller and I may return it depending on how much I like this or not. But here's the big issue with this controller. It's $70. So it's, it's a very expensive controller. However, uh, I did read online that it will work natively with a Windows PC as a gamepad. So, you know, keep in mind, <clears throat> excuse me, you can connect this to Windows machine for gaming, kind of increasing its value a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and unbox this controller and see how it is. Again, on the side, there's really not much there. It's a picture of the controller. On this side is a picture of the controller. Um, on the back, it shows, let's see. Okay, you charge it using USB, so you can charge this right off the dock. That's pretty cool. So it explains that the Pro Controller is a classic grip-style wireless controller that provides an easy-to-hold extended gameplay experience with the Nintendo Switch system when playing in either TV mode or tablet top mode. So you can also use this controller not only when docked, but when you have it with the kickstand. And that's something I should actually show off real quick. 
that on the back, I forgot to show that, there is a kickstand. And I've heard from people that said this kickstand, oh, and there's speakers in the back here, that the kickstand is a little flimsy. Ooh, yeah, I would agree with that. And actually, underneath there is the port for the micro SD card, which I do have a 200 gig SanDisk card ready to go, which I think was like 60 bucks, so it was not expensive. I'm going to add um, 200 gigabytes to this to this console, which comes with 32 gigabytes out of the box. So with that kickstand up, you prop it like that, and you can play games like so, or use the Pro Controller. So let me go ahead and dock this again, like so. Feels like it's in, okay. And it is a little bit confusing. It feels a little clunky that I have all these things, you know, like plug this into this and then plug this into this. But I think once you have it set up where it's plugged into your TV, you should be, you should be fine. You know, you should be good to go um, once you have the dock set up in the place that you want it and everything. So for this, I do need my knife because there is tape on the controller. It's odd. They put tape on the controller box, but not on the console box. Ooh. Don't want to cut myself. Okay. Put my knife closed. Close it so I don't cut myself. Let's go ahead and rip into this box. Cardboard. So let's see what we have. We have, oh, neat, okay. So it comes inside the box with a nice USB, it's a USB-C to USB-A cable. So the controller charges by USB-C, I wasn't sure of that. Uh, this is also branded Nintendo, awesome. This side has no branding, but the C side says Nintendo. And you would use this to charge the controller which, as I take it out of the box here, and I peel off the plastic, we see a USB-C port on the top. So guys, I'm gonna hold this controller now, and for the first time I'm gonna see, is it worth $70? Hmm. You know what? This is a nice controller. It's really, really comfortable. The sticks feel really good. They both click in. Um, was it the home, the um, plus and minus buttons again, which again, I don't really know what they do. There's a screenshot button and a home button. The D-pad feels good. I, I, I had read online that some people said the D-pad was a little bit stiff, but I, I think it feels nice. The buttons are nice. It's kind of like a clear black plastic here. So you can kind of see the circuit board on the inside. On the top, again, we have left and right, and the Z triggers. And on the back, we can see the battery pack through a clear plastic, which is kind of a weird design. I'm not sure why Nintendo wants to show off a boring battery through clear plastic. You know, don't get me wrong, I mean, it's fine. It's just, you know, I don't, I don't get why this is clear. Even while the front is clear, quite frankly. I mean, all you're really seeing is some plastic manufacturing here. You can barely see this. I mean, you can see the circuit board. You can barely see it. It would be nicer if it was like totally clear or there was some color underneath, but it's whatever. That's what Nintendo wanted to do. I wonder if it could have saved some money going with a non-translucent plastic and saved us some money. But um, is this worth $70? It's, it's a lot of money for a controller, but it does feel like a really nice controller. I'd have to actually use it, of course, before I would recommend it but it does feel really nice. Um, let's see if there's any power out of the box. And let's see, I'm holding down this button at the top and nothing's lighting up. Holding down the home button and nothing's lighting up. This button. So maybe from the factory. Oh no, it is, all right, in the bottom. I was expecting something to blink up here, but no, on the bottom we have the four green LEDs. Okay. Lastly, because this video is going too long, I totally understand, guys. You can always fast forward my videos, though. I appreciate you watching. Is I just want to open up a game. This is me opening my first Switch game. We see Super Bomberman R, which is the 33rd 
anniversary of Bomberman, which is so bizarre. I guess it's kind of trying to be like a quirky, funny thing. Um, game from Konami. Let's go ahead and just open the side. Tear into this. Okay. And these, these cartridges, I apologize for that light, guys. The cartridges are very small from what I understand. Look at all that wasted plastic. I mean, I understand for store shelves you need something visually pleasing. But come on. I mean, these these boxes could be half the size. It could be, a, a, quite frankly, they could probably be like a tenth of the size. This huge thing. There's no manual here. This is the manual. It's just in the back telling you how to play. This whole big piece of plastic is for this little, this little card. Um, from what I understand, these cards taste bad, too, and that's kind of by design, I think, so kids don't eat them. We see the connectors here. Kind of looks like a big SD card. And before I end my video, let me go ahead and show you guys how that goes in. So there's a door at the top. It's a little bit of a flimsy door. I mean, I appreciate that a door is there, but since the, the console only has 32 gigs of storage, a lot of people are going to buy actual cartridges and carry them around. And I'm a little bit worried that, that door could break after time. So let's see how it goes in. Leave like so. Okay. Whoa. And there's the console, guys. If you have any questions about the Nintendo Switch, please leave them in the comments below. I'm going to end this video now and play with the darn thing. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.